Sophie, I don't know what to do. The wedding is just two months away, and I'm terrified. I think I'm afraid of getting married. Oh, Alice, why do you feel that way? What exactly is scaring you? It's everything, really. The idea of committing to one person for the rest of my life. What if I make a mistake? What if he isn't the right one? It's completely normal to have doubts, Alice. Marriage is a huge step, and it's natural to feel anxious. But let's break it down. What specifically worries you about committing to David? David is wonderful, truly. He's kind, understanding, and we get along well. But I keep thinking about my parents. They divorced after 25 years of marriage. They seemed so happy, and then everything fell apart. What if that happens to us? I understand your fear. Seeing your parents' marriage end must have been really tough. But every relationship is different, Alice. Just because your parents' marriage ended doesn't mean yours will too. I know, but I can't shake the fear. What if we grow apart? What if we stop loving each other? People change, Sophie. What if we change too much and can't make it work? People do change, it's true. But the beauty of marriage is growing and changing together. It's about facing those changes as a team. Have you talked to David about these fears? Not really. I don't want to worry him or make him think I don't want to marry him. But the truth is, I'm scared. And it's not just about him changing. What if I change and realize I want something different? It sounds like you have a lot of what-if questions swirling around. Have you tried to focus on the what is? Right now you love David and he loves you. You both want to build a life together. That's the foundation. The future is unpredictable, but you can't let fear of the unknown dictate your decisions. I suppose you're right. But the idea of forever is daunting. How did you get past these fears when you married John? Oh, I had my fair share of doubts, believe me. I was scared too. But I realized that the fear of losing out on a wonderful life with him was greater than my fear of marriage. We talked about everything, our fears, our dreams, our goals. Open communication helped us feel more secure. We knew that as long as we kept talking and supporting each other, we could face anything together. I guess I haven't really talked to David about all of this. I've been keeping it bottled up, hoping it would just go away. But it's only gotten worse. Maybe that's the first step, Alice. Talk to David. Share your fears and doubts. He deserves to know how you're feeling, and you might find that he's feeling some of the same things. You can support each other through this. You're right. I do need to talk to him. But what if he doesn't understand? What if he thinks I'm second-guessing our entire relationship? If David loves you, he'll understand. He might be hurt or surprised at first, but ultimately he'll appreciate your honesty. It's better to address these fears now rather than letting them fester and potentially harm your relationship later on. I hope so. It's just so overwhelming. The wedding planning, the expectations, the idea of forever. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning in it all. Have you considered taking a step back from it all for a bit? Maybe take a weekend away with David to just relax and reconnect. 
Sometimes we get so caught up in the planning that we forget what it's all about. Celebrating your love and commitment to each other. I think we could both use a break from the chaos. Just some time to focus on us and why we fell in love in the first place. It's a big step, but it's also an exciting one. You're starting a new chapter with someone you love. Embrace the uncertainty and trust that you and David can navigate it together. I suppose you're right. I do love him, and I want to build a life with him. I just need to remind myself of that when the doubts creep in. And you have me and all your friends and family to support you too. You're not alone in this. Lean on us when you need to. We'll help you through it. Sophie, I really appreciate it. You've always been there for me, and it means a lot. Now, how about we go grab a coffee and talk about something fun for a change? Maybe plan that weekend getaway with David? So, have you thought about where you might want to go for your getaway? I was thinking maybe the mountains. David loves hiking, and I think it would be nice to be surrounded by nature. Plus, it's quiet and peaceful. Which is exactly what we need right now. Fresh air, beautiful scenery, and no wedding planners in sight. Just the two of you. Exactly. I think it will be good for us. A chance to really talk and reconnect. You know, John and I had a similar getaway before our wedding. It really helped us put everything into perspective. We were able to relax and remember why we were doing this in the first place. What did you guys talk about? Everything. Our hopes, our fears, our future. We made a pact to always be honest with each other, no matter how difficult the conversation might be. It wasn't always easy, but it made us stronger. I want that for us too. I think I just need to take a leap of faith and trust that we can handle whatever comes our way. You're stronger than you think, Alice. And so is David. You've built a solid foundation together. Now it's time to build on that and create something beautiful. I need to focus on the positive and not let my fears overshadow everything. I'm going to talk to David tonight and suggest the weekend getaway. Now let's finish our coffee and start planning that getaway. You deserve some relaxation and happiness. Agreed. Let's do it. We both love the beach, so we rented a small cabin by the sea. It was perfect. Long walks on the sand, listening to the waves, and just being together without any interruptions. I think being in nature, whether it's the mountains or the beach, really helps clear your mind and put things into perspective. It's like the serenity of nature has a way of quieting the chaos in your mind. You can focus on what truly matters. I think that's what David and I need right now. A chance to step back from all the planning and stress and just focus on us. Remember why we're doing this in the first place. And it's not just about the wedding day itself, but the life you're building together. That's what's most important. I've been so caught up in the details of the wedding that I almost forgot the bigger picture. It's easy to get lost in the details, but just remember that the wedding is just one day. Your marriage is a lifetime. And taking this time to reconnect will only make that foundation stronger. 
I am going to talk to David tonight and make plans for our getaway. I think it will be really good for us. I'm so glad to hear that. And when you get back, you'll feel more ready and confident about the wedding. It's going to be beautiful, Alice. I really appreciate your support and advice. You've always been there for me. Now let's brainstorm some ideas for your mountain getaway. Do you have any specific places in mind? I've heard great things about the cabins near Blue Ridge. They have beautiful hiking trails and stunning views. Blue Ridge sounds perfect. You could spend your days hiking and your evenings cozying up by a fire. It's the perfect mix of adventure and relaxation. I think David would love that. He's always wanted to explore more of the Blue Ridge trails, and I could definitely use some time away from the city. Then it's settled. Blue Ridge, it is. Do you want help looking up cabins and making reservations? That would be great. We could look up some options together. It'll be nice to have a bit of help with the planning. Consider it done. We'll find the perfect cabin for you two to escape to. Let's make it happen. I'm actually excited about the getaway now. I'm glad to hear that. You deserve some peace and happiness, and this is just the beginning of a wonderful journey for you and David. I believe it is. Thank you for everything, Sophie. You've helped me see things more clearly. Any time, my friend. Now let's finish our coffee and get to planning that perfect getaway. Adventure awaits.